tone of voice, rage, silent treatment, leaving the place, and blaming you are all diversionary tactics. Try to get you off the topic. We'll try to throw you off. This is the diversionary tactic. Tone of voice. How you are speaking to them. Why are you raising your voice? Why are you saying it to me like that? You know, if you're going to talk about something, you need to watch your tone. You need to watch your tone. They focus on how you're talking and not what you're talking about. They don't care what you're talking about. They know that they are guilty. That's why we're trying to divert the attention back to you. Get it off of us, back to you, back to you. They'll keep trying to shift it. This is the versionary tactic. If they think you have a tone, they will absolutely try to hyper-focus on that to get you thrown off, to get you thrown off. So that can lead into rage, rage, to formulate a reason to get mad at you, yell and scream at you. Rage is used to intimidate you, to intimidate you, get you scared, and get you off the point. Will you, or it just exhausts you. you just, you're just tired of arguing at that point. They'll keep trying to shift it. This is the versionary tactic. If they say, watch your tone. Why are you talking to me like that? Why you, why is your voice like that? They're trying to throw you off the point. They'll keep trying to shift it. This is the versionary tactic. The more covert type narcissistic people, they'll go silent and just refuse to talk to you, refuse to engage with you. You know, they're just like, zip. I'm gonna go completely silent on you. Silence accomplishes the same goal that rage will. Get you thrown off the topic and sometimes it'll have you blaming yourself and have you apologizing. This is the versionary tactic. It's part of the silent treatment, but they'll just leave. They'll leave the house, they'll leave the room, wherever space you're having this conversation in, they'll just refuse to have it and just leave. I'm not trying to argue with you and just leave. This is the versionary tactic. They can also just get real mean and derogatory towards you and start demeaning you and devaluing you. This is the versionary tactic, blaming you for whatever they have done. It's your fault. They'll keep trying to shift it. It's your fault. They'll keep trying to shift it. This is the versionary tactic. How you communicate with these people is like literally you have to go straight to the point. When they try to divert you, bring it back to the point. Bring it back to the point. We both know I don't have a tone. I'm, I'm trying to hold you accountable. Whatever point it is. If they're cheating, if they're lying to you, like bring it back to that point. Don't let them shift it onto, onto something else because that's what they'll just do. They'll try to shift it. They'll keep trying to shift it. They'll keep trying to shift it. That's a sign of guilt. The shift is a sign of guilt. The shift is a sign of guilt. How you communicate straight to the point and don't let them divert you. They'll keep trying to shift it because they're going to use a multitude of tactics. They'll keep trying to shift it to try to throw you off the point. They'll keep trying to shift it, throw you off the point. Don't let them divert you. Bring it back. Bring it back. Always bring it back. Don't let them divert it. They'll keep trying to shift it. Don't let them do whatever they're trying to do to you. They'll keep trying to shift it. Bring it back to the point, to the point, to the point. They'll keep trying to shift it to get you thrown off. Tone of voice, rage, silent treatment, leaving the place and blaming you are all diversionary tactic to get you thrown off. Get it off of us, back to you. Versionary tactic to get you thrown off, off of us, back to you.